Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be a quick and easy video. We're going to be doing the April Ipsy unbagging. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So first things first, this is what the bag looks like. It looks like it's just some um, flowers. Um, to me, they kind of look like dragonflies. I mean, I don't know, but I think they're supposed to be flowers and they're super cute. And then I love this little zipper because it's like a little wooden. It's cool. So then we'll open it up and pull out our card. And the theme is full bloom. So yeah, let's just get right into showing the products. So the first product we have here is this Seraphine Botanicals Berry Plus Juice 100% Vegan Lip Gel in Rose Current. So yeah, we'll be using this today. Hmm, interesting. But I just want to like to let you guys know, I have not done makeup in so long. Because like, la the last few videos I did, I like pre-filmed them. So like, I probably haven't done makeup in like two weeks. So, yeah. But this um, lip oil is vegan-free, GMO-free, gluten-free, and it's not tested on animals. Um, there's no parabens no gluten, has vitamin E, um, and lots of other healthy things. As you guys can see, I don't know if that, if you can see that, but it's very healthy for you, so I'm excited to try that. All right, so next we have this Sugar Cosmetics Wingman Waterproof Eyeliner in I'll Be Back. And you guys know I don't use eyeliners, so I'll probably test this out today, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. It might take me a while to use this, because I'm not very good at eyeliner. Um, next, we have this Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. And yeah, this is 100% natural. On the delicate areas to soothe tired eyes, lift dark circles. Okay, I'm going to definitely use this before I apply my makeup. So I'm just going to tap it gently. I probably added too much, but it's fine. Under the eyes. My eyes have been, like, so tired lately, you guys. Like, I've been getting either like no sleep or like too much sleep and it's not healthy. Alrighty. So that is that. Oh, it smells really good too. I don't know what scent this is. Interesting. Oh wow. This product is originally $27 for the full size. Wow. And this lipstick, if you guys, this lip gloss, if you guys wanted to know, the full size is $19. And I believe that this is a full size. So this Sugar Cosmetics eyeliner, it retails for $11.99. Okay, moving on. Next, we have this Priming Rich Moisturizer from Glossier. So excited. This is one of the products that I was like, mm, that smells good. This was one of the products I was able to pick. So this is what it looks like inside. It's like super creamy. Wow. I'm not going to use it today, unfortunately, but I will be using this. I'm really excited to use this, but I have so much moisturizer that I need to focus on getting rid of. Um, Lastly, in our bag, we have the Koki Cosmetics Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. Um, I'm thinking that this is going to be too dark, but we'll see. So yeah, and this retails for $8. So yeah, let's get right into the makeup. So I'm going to put on like a full face of makeup and only show you guys the parts so I'm only going to show you the concealer and probably the eyes and yeah. 
All right, you guys, so we're gonna use concealer. So I just wanted to let you guys know what I use for foundation. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Glow Foundation in the shade Classic Tan. I use that. I don't really know if it's my shade. I kind of blended it down to my neck, which I'm probably gonna end up blending it just a little more so that it looks tan, but it's fine. We're in quarantine right now, so I'm not going anywhere. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna use this concealer. We're just gonna. Okay, this is light enough. I thought it would be like super dark for my skin, so this will definitely brighten the under eyes. So I'm gonna use this for a eyeshadow base as well. Down the bridge of the nose, the forehead, cupid's bow. Okay. Now I'm going to go blend this out real quickly and then I will let you guys know how it blends and my thoughts. Alright you guys, so before I move on, I want to talk about the concealer. So, it was super, um, I think it like really brightens up the under eye and like I was worried about my foundation being too dark so it definitely like brightened it up a little bit and it was really easy to blend and it's also like super hydrating and it's definitely not too drying um but yeah that just blended so beautifully like I still have to blend up here but it blended beautifully and I loved it but anyways, before I move on to the last two products um, in my bag, I wanted to talk about the products I'm going to use on my face just so you guys know what I'm using in case you have questions about what I'm using. So I forgot to mention, this is the primer that I use. This is the I Heart Revolution Coconut Dream Hydrating Primer. It's amazing. Smells like coconut. I absolutely love it. Um, and for blush, I'm going to use the Milani um baked blush in berry amour and then i'm going to use the physician's formula butter bronzer and for powder i'm using the airspun loose face powder and then for highlight i'm going to be using the beauty creations big pops highlighter palette so yeah i just wanted to show you guys what i'm using and i'll see you guys in a second when i am to the rest of the products all right you guys so i'm moving on so for eyes, I decided to use my Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette because it is spring. So I feel like this is a good palette to pull out for springtime. So yeah, I'm just going to do a simple look with that. Um, I decided that I'm not going to try and do eyeliner. But you know what? I have a great video idea for this eyeliner. So stay tuned for that and that will be coming out soon because I just like don't have the patience right now to mess up my makeup with eyeliner. So yeah, I have a video coming out for you guys. So stay tuned for that in the next few weeks. So yeah, I'm going to do my eyes and then I'll be back. Alright you guys, so eyes are done. I just did a simple look. I have on my highlighter now. And then for mascara, I'm just going to use the Better Than Sex Mascara real quick. Because like I said, I'm not going anywhere. So I don't need like a crazy eye look. Okay, mascara is on. Now time for lips. So we're going to use this lip thing we got in the Ipsy bag. Hmm. So this is just like a lip oil.
this isn't really my thing, but I don't know, kind of like it. I mean, the color is not ideal because it does have a little slight tint to it, but it smells absolutely amazing. And it's super smoothing and not drying. So I feel that it's going to really help with um, making my lips nice and soft and smooth. So yeah, I'm probably going to be using this quite a bit. So yeah, I would say overall this was one of the best Ipsy bags ever just because of the bag itself. Like I am in love with this bag. Um, and Glossier, I've been wanting to try this product for a long time and I was excited to get this product so I will be testing that out very soon maybe in another video and I'm excited to finally get an eyeliner in an ipsy bag because I've never gotten an eyeliner before and yeah and I don't really have a lot of eyeliners so I'm glad I got one and that I will be able to film a video using this for you guys in the future um, and I'm excited about this lip oil. Like, it's really nice. And, yeah, um, I would say that the products are really good overall. And, yeah, I g probably would rate the bag maybe a 4 out of 5. Just because, um, I don't know. I really just, um, like this, I probably, like, I had an option to pick this. But I picked this as my item. And I didn't really want the concealer. But... It was good so I'm kind of glad I got it but I wouldn't purchase that normally as a concealer so I don't even remember what else did I get you guys I'm gonna put it away oh and the eye cream I don't really use eye creams and just because I don't really see like a difference in my eyes when I use eye creams so I wish I had gotten a different product rather than an eye cream but anyways um I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.